What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. Where's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video is gonna be like a sit down and talk with you guys. I really wanted to just come on here and give you a very late update on how my fast has been going. Today is the 22nd of October and I have nine days left of this fasting. So I decided, if you don't know, I decided to tell you to first make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, all of that stuff you guys that you know what to do that you don't do please do it today if you don't do it no other day do it today make sure you are subscribed make sure your bell is on make sure you give this video a like like actually hit the thumbs up on this video and i also want you to engage in this video i want you to comment down your comments some feedback and your love and your support okay because after you get this video you're gonna want to give me some feedback and support i know that let's get into the video I'm back in this bitch, what's good? Let's get this understood, bitch, I wish a bitch would Yeah, yeah, huh? Bitch, you know the vibes Please don't blow my high I hate a bitch that lie Yeah, yeah you ho These hoes be in disguise Get the fuck up out my face Cause I ain't got no time If it ain't about the cake Or if it ain't about a dime So I started a fast, October the 1st It's for the whole month of October And the fast is to not drink any alcohol Don't eat any meats the only meats that i do eat which is chicken and ground turkey fish is not included it's fish like it's seafood tuna i really only had tuna and catfish and shrimp and salmon but literally just that's all i, I had well, i'm on my second round of tuna like a tuna salad i've only had two pieces of salmon at one time i had two piece a piece and a half of catfish one for dinner and then leftovers and then I had the whole bag of shrimp one night. I just said, let me unthaw and get it out the freezer. Okay, so anywho. And then I've been making myself go to the gym three days a week. I gotta go today. I have not been today. Obviously, I'm still in my room. And it's like almost, oh, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. So what made me get on this fast? How has the fast been going? I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Lord bless me. When fasting first came about to me in a conversation, I was like, girl, I can't do that. I said, I cannot do that. Like, I love to eat. There's no way, cause I'm thinking like fasting. Cause for fasting, it's different things for people. I, I remember telling my manager that I'm fasting. He was like, wait a minute. You're not supposed to eat when you're fasting. I'm like, first of all, fasting is what I make it, okay? And this is what I am doing, this is what I'm not doing, okay? So don't let nobody tell you that what you choose to do during your fasting ain't a real fast. It's what you choose to do and what you choose not to do, and that's that on that. Just make sure you stick, stick to it. So I thought that fasting was the no eating, like just straight fluids, or don't drink, don't consume anything after a certain amount of time. I'm like, look, I love to eat, I like to eat, I need to eat. There's no way that I'm not gonna eat. You know, the feedback that I got was like, nah, it don't gotta be like that. Like, just take out certain stuff. So I made, I made this fasting for me. I chose that it was going to be no alcohol. And I chose that it was gonna be me not eating chicken and ground turkey. And then when I was talking about it, like I told you guys, I was, in, I was at the nail salon talking to my nail tech about it. And someone that was sitting next to me kind of chimed in and told me like how her daughter did that. But then she got pregnant and her doctor told her that, you know, she needed protein and to eat tuna. So that's why I felt like if I'm going to eat a tuna salad, I might as well eat everything associated with fish. It is very mind blowing and I can't explain it. I don't know why it happened, when it happened or how it happened. I had that conversation months ago, like maybe back in like June, July. And here it is October, or it was like September the 20 whatever. And I'm like, you know what? October the 1st, and October the 1st is on a Sunday. I said, this is it's perfect for me. Like it's the first day of the week, the first day of the month. Why not start fasting on October the 1st? But I had no idea that I would start this fast at the right time that I needed to because of what I was going through and dealing with in my life 
at that time and still is kind of dealing with it to a certain extent so i had no idea that it would but now that i'm here it has affected me physically internally with my mental my spirit my mind which is my mental my thoughts my feelings my body inside and out like it really has like physically when i'm looking in the when i'm looking in the mirror i'm like damn girl i don't know if it's because you've been eating good but the way that I'm like toning up, I'm looking really good, really good, really good when I'm looking in the mirror. So I'm like, you know what, no, it's not only because I've been eating good, it's because I've been working out too. So whenever you're trying to, this is just on a fitness level, whenever you're trying to like, whatever your fitness journey is, whether it's to gain weight, lose weight, tone up, whatever it is, eating matters. You can't just go to the gym and then go home and, and don't eat or eat what you want to eat. It matters. Eating matters and working out matters as well. It's got a balance for things to come out how it's supposed to come out. All right, off the fitness. Making myself work out three days a week, has it been a huge challenge? No. I enjoy working out. I love working out. If anything, it held me accountable to stay consistent. Last night I went to the gym. I did not want to be at the gym, but I did my whole workout. Today, I don't want to go to the gym. But I got to do it and I'm probably gonna do another night session because it's four o'clock in the afternoon and I wanna do things while the sun is up. When I think about it y'all, I've been drinking ever since I could drink. I'm not gonna say anything other than that for the ones that are not of age. I don't wanna influence you in no type of way. If you catch my drift, you catch my drift. And if you don't, then you don't. But I've been drinking ever since I've been legally able to and I do not condone underage drinking. This is my life. That I'm speaking on. Okay. Oh Lord Jesus, has that been a challenge? Mm-hmm. Has that been like the the biggest challenge? No. Did I need that? Yes. Oh, I needed it. Didn't even know I needed it, but I needed it. Every day, have I been wanting to drink? Not every day. Like I feel like the first week, I was like, yo. By the time I get to the end of this week, I'm gonna want to drink. I'm gonna want to like fold. But I didn't get that urge or that itch to do that. I want to say like the last. This last, this week that just passed, and right now, I really would love to just, you know, have a white claw, some wine, go to a bar and let them mix something up, but I have it. I have it. The most challenging thing out of this whole entire fast has been dealing with my feelings. Not being able to cope with drinking, not being able to hide how I felt, ignore how I felt, not acknowledge and face the things that I was feeling by drinking. I've been having to deal with it. And you know, during the day it's fine. It's when it, it's when the, the sun goes down and, and the stars is in the sky, honey. For the most part, I've been able to rest and sleep. Today, I'm up on three hours of sleep. Not the day before that, but the day before that. So not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. I was up on like three hours of sleep. Probably not even a full three hours for real. Probably like two hours. And you may be wondering like, Jay, what are you doing at this time of night? Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? I've been watching TV, smoking hookah, journaling, crying, taking a walk, crying again, just sitting in my thoughts and my feelings and allowing myself to release the things that I feel. Like not, not holding back. Just allowing myself just to feel. The biggest challenge of this whole fast has just been the mental part of it. I'm still dealing with the mental part of it. I'm gonna read a text message that me and my cousin had. Let me just say, Sebastian ain't gonna bite a damn fly. If a fly was a fly in here, he not even gonna bite the wing off the fly. This was on Friday at 2.27 in the morning. I said to her, I said, oh wait, pause. First of all, I was saying that I am so thankful that I have her. Everybody needs somebody that they can talk to, vent to, who is up at them type of hours with you, that can relate with you, encourage you, motivate you, get you together when you're beating yourself down. Yeah. So I told her, I said, ain't been sleep. Instead, I've been tossing and turning, cry like twice and talk to myself and let my thoughts roam out. She said, why are you crying? I said, felt sad, lonely. And I was like, if I woke you up, I'm sorry. 
She said, no, I'm up. She was like, she was feeling the exact same way that night as well. I was like twinning again. <laughs> I said, I took some deep breaths and told myself I had to be strong and that I am. And to use my days wisely, this feeling will come again and it did. I know, but I'm going to tackle this with, with positive outcome. She said, I love this thought process for you. I'm happy for this journey you, you on. It'll get hard, it'll get tough, but the reward is so much greater. And I said, I'm trying, girl. I said, you are my backbone and God is my light. I'm really thankful to have you in my life and God knew what he was doing because who else would I have? <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm learning that I don't have to say, or I don't have to share too much with you guys, or so much, not too, not really too much, but I don't have to share everything with you guys. I recorded a video, the Q&A video, and some of you guys' questions, I actually answered every single question that you guys asked me. And then things started to shift and move in my life. And when I went back to go edit that video, I realized I wasn't ready to share everything that I was sharing on that video with you guys. I didn't feel comfortable putting that video out. I'm still gonna put that video out. It's just gonna be very edited. Cause I'm just, I don't wanna share everything. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna always be honest and be transparent with you guys, but some things I just don't. I don't want y'all involved in everything that I have going on. <sighs> What did I take from this fast? I'm taking away from this fast that I don't have to drink every day. I don't need to and I should not drink every day. I'm grown though. That'd be the, you're doing good, you don't have to drink every day. And then this person be like, but girl, you grown. If you wanna drink, drink. But no, I don't have to drink every day. I drink differently. I don't just, <laughs> y'all, I don't be in here a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let me get some orange juice. Let me get a, a dash of Sprite. Let me twirl it. Let me shake it. I don't do that. I be like, give me the shot glass. Give me the bottle. Matter of fact, just give me the bottle. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to be more in control of it. Um, have a limit to it. Not drink the whole bottle of wine. Maybe like two glasses. Not drink half the bottle of tequila. Maybe like, I'm not gonna put a number on it. Just some shots. That's what I've, I've taken from it. I've also taken from this fast that every three months, I'm gonna do this. Every three months of every year, I'm gonna do this. So March, September, June, March, June, September, I'm gonna be fasting for that whole entire month. Will it be the same thing? I think I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit. I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit. I might do meats, but only do like meat one day out the week or one meal like the whole day. I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I, I ain't gonna know until I get there. What have I taken from it on a mental and spiritual level is to continue to pray, journal, allow myself to feel, give myself these moments where it's just quiet. I am proud of myself. I do put a lot of pressure on myself I was told to give myself grace and I actually had to share that message with someone else. And I like that too. I like that I've been learning things and I've been able to share what I learned because it's helping me. I don't feel like if, if it wasn't helping me, I wouldn't share it, you know? So everything, not everything, but cause I don't be trying to overload nobody with a whole bunch of stuff that they didn't even ask for or they, not even, they may not even be at that moment in that moment in, in their life or at that moment in their life where they're needing to receive what I'm receiving. You know what I mean? I feel like what I'm receiving is for me. So I, I share a, a little bit. What I, I share what I feel like it needs to be shared. I don't know if y'all know, but like we all have a purpose for being here on earth. We all have a calling to do. Some people are aware of what that is. Some people have no idea why they're put onto this earth. But you have a purpose. Even if you think that you don't, you do. I discovered my purpose and my reason. I was told that I should be a counselor, a therapist. Like I should honestly be like some type of mentor. But I feel like that's a huge role. There's some big shoes to fill. To a certain extent, I do feel like I, maybe not a mentor, but I am an influencer. And before, let me also back up, before I even went on this fast, 
like a few months before, I had one of my subscribers. I don't even like to call her a subscriber because she's really a friend. She's like one of those, like, she see me, I see her, like, on social media type shit. Like, I see what she doing, she see what I'm doing. And one day, y'all, she hit me up to check me. Like, she was, she literally checked me. Granted, it is something that I've heard before, absolutely. But did I listen when I heard it? Obviously, I didn't. But I feel like now that I am where I am, and because I've been on this platform for so long, you know, some things gotta change and be different. That's why I feel like I took that long break from YouTube because I didn't want to come back on the platform and do the same thing that I've been doing <laughs> since 2016. Like what? Like girl, when are you gonna grow up? Don't get me wrong, I still got the vibes, I'm still lit. But, and there's nothing wrong with who I am. It's just certain things that I share don't have to always be shared. And that's all I'm gonna say. So she checked, she checked me and I was like, instead of me like being defensive and being like, girl, who the, who the f is you? And this my shit? And I can do whatever fuck I want on my shit? Nah, I accepted her criticism and I thanked her, you know what I mean? For keeping it that real with me. Cause a lot of people, they gonna see you do some dumb shit and they gonna talk about you. They might even unfollow you. They might even block you. I, I feel like it take a lot of pride and put your ego aside to, you know, accept things. First of all, for someone to even, it take a lot for someone to even reach out to be like, look, I don't even know how she gonna take this, but I'm gonna tell her anyway. And then for the person that's receiving it, it take a lot for you to just accept that and actually make the change and do something different. So there's a lot of things that I, I gotta, I gotta do all the way around, like within myself, for myself, on a business level, with with the things that I want to do with my business, on a family level, the bridges that I need to to fix with my family, you know, my relationship. It's a lot of things that I'm just I'm just dealing with. And I'm trying to work on, you know. But let me tell you what's priority me i'm priority i used i used to not be a priority for myself i heard all the time you know you always put other people before you and i took it as a compliment i took it as a good thing and i'm not saying that is a bad thing it's not that it's not bad but it's not always good last week i was at my job and i i don't know what it was but and it's crazy because nobody was asking for no nobody was asking nothing from me but something in my mind told me, or I got that feeling, I literally was in the feeling of feeling that I don't have the energy. I ate too much guacamole, y'all. I'm over here gassy as hell. <laughs> Top and bottom, Lord. I told myself I don't have the energy to show up for nobody but for me right now. I think I was being dry and some text messages. I didn't have the energy to entertain or be or show up for nobody but for myself at that given moment. If somebody had called my phone and wanted to talk about anything that pertained to them and they feeling what they were going, going through, I, I'm not available. I wasn't, and that's what I mean by that. Like I didn't have the energy or the space to be there for nobody but for myself. Because of me being aware of what my calling is and my purpose, it's okay to detach from helping others and to take care of myself. I'm really glad that I kind of talked myself into doing this video because as I was talking to myself, I was very um, emotional. And so I had to like get myself together because I don't want to be, like I don't have a problem crying on camera. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's a sign of weakness, you look crazy whatever 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 i don't give a fuck about none of that shit but i'm glad that i was able to like get the, like you know what i'm saying do this video and keep myself together and i just hope that this video finds purpose to somebody i know that it will i'm not even gonna hope i know that this video is gonna find purpose to someone somebody people i know it is i mean you probably like jay what you looking at i'm looking at the trees the patio door is open, I'm just looking out and the trees are just, look, they just look, like I wanna be outside right now. I have these pumpkins right here and I was thinking about just going on my patio and carving them, no. I'ma see if I find a park, but if I don't find a park, y'all, I'ma just go find some grass that's got some sunlight and I know exactly where to go, like literally around the corner. I 
got a blanket that need to be washed. So I'm gonna just lay the blanket out. Ta-ta. <laughs> it is an hour and 22 minutes before my baby's birthday. This feels so different. I'm usually with her. Birthdays, holidays. It's different enough. She's 5,000 miles away. I actually had all the intentions on being with her for her birthday, but that's not that that's not what was written for me. And so I'm trying to be okay with like not being there. And I'm trying to or I've I've been doing good. I'm trying not to put that feeling on her because I know she already feels um like damn, she wished probably that I was there or you know somebody was there from home was there to celebrate her birthday with her. And so I, I feel, you know, sad about that because I really do want to be there with her, celebrating her birthday, bringing her birthday in. It's, it's really nothing last minute to do because I got a full-time job, I got two pets. I can't just be like, oh, let me pack my bag, I'm gonna get on a flight tomorrow, I wish. It ain't like that. I really have to plan like months ahead if I'm gonna do something like that, especially again because she's 5,000 miles away. Six hour difference. So six o'clock here, it'll be officially her birthday. So y'all put in the comment section, happy birthday, Trina. <laughs> Big period. So yes, I am done with this video. That has been what my fast has been about. When I've taken away from this fast, I feel like it's really important. If you're gonna go through a fast, make sure you take something from it. Like don't just go through something and be like, well, I don't know why I did that. Like that's bananas. So that is the end of this video. I am going to get myself together, get them together, get them situated, and I'm going to um, go find me some grass to go carve a pumpkin. So, you're coming with me, but you're not coming with me. Does that make sense? Like, you're coming with me, but I have, like, you're coming with me. Like, the camera's coming with me, but I'll see you later. I love you guys so much and thank you for allowing me to just be myself on this platform. Thank you for accepting me and for those who don't accept me, that's okay. I ain't tripping. But thank you for those who like really, you know, are tuned into my videos, my content, you know. Thank you for checking up on me when I was away from the platform, when I wasn't uploading basically. And I'm just, I'm just thankful. I'm really thankful for where I am, for who I am, and for who you allow me to be. And I'm thankful for who you are and the love that you share from wherever you are. I really do appreciate you guys. And I'm signing out to the next video. I'm childish as fuck. Get the fuck up out the way, success is all up on my mind. Nah, I ain't conceited. I I'm a different breed. It catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Yeah, I pop a lot of shit, but I swear it ain't no typo. You smoking on that cat piss. I smoke a lot of gas, bitch. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on. And I'm out this 
bitch. <laughs>